Greetings, this is Dave Dickinson here from AstroGuys.com, and I thought, as has become a tradition the last few years, that I would tell you, the interested public out there, about the first solar eclipse that's going to happen for 2013. It's going to happen on May 9th through 10th, being that it's going to cross the international date line, so it's going to be the morning of the 10th in Australia, and it's going to be the afternoon of the 9th for Hawaii and eastward of that for the Pacific. That's going to become this Thursday, May 9th through 10th, 2013. This is going to be what's called an annular solar eclipse. An annular solar eclipse happens when the moon is near apogee and it is too far away to visually cover up the sun as it's passing in front. So what you're going to see is a bright annulus or ring of fire as they call it. In Australia it's going to be very cool because Australia is going to see the eclipse rising in the morning so you're going to get that horns over the horizon kind of rising effect very cool for photo i've seen the annular ones in 1994 they are very cool not as cool as a total solar eclipse but still pretty cool this eclipse unfortunately is mostly over water it just misses north america in the west coast it's going to be crossing uh over australia over the west coast of australia over Northern Territories, over Cape York. It's going to crisscross that path from the annular eclipse, or from the total solar eclipse that we had last November. And it's going to head out over the Solomon Islands, then it's going to hit over Kiribati and a few islands across the Pacific Ocean, and then it's going to go into annular sunset way out there over the Eastern Pacific. That'll be pretty cool. We'll see some photos. Um, passes over some pretty wild and remote areas of Australia. I think an interesting place that's just going to miss it is Irish Rock would be a very cool place to see it at sunrise. It's going to be about, looking over at the map, about 80% around Alice Springs and Irish Rock or Ulars. Maybe. Hawaii is going to see about a 50% annular, 50% uh, partial eclipse. Uh, the Philippines is going to see, down in Mindanao, they're going to see about a 20% annular eclipse, or partial eclipse. An annular eclipse is technically a partial eclipse, but there are special type of partial eclipse. It's only five eclipses this year, three lunars, two solars. There is going to be a hybrid eclipse on November 3rd on 2000, 2013. That's going to be the only time there's going to be totality, and it's only going to last for about a minute and 40 seconds when we have totality during that eclipse, and that's going to cross over the Atlantic in the central part of Africa. Florida is going to get maybe a 2 or 3% partial as the sun is rising that morning. If it's clear in November, I may actually get a, a tiny bit of a partial. Maybe even I'll drive over to the Atlantic side just to kind of optimize that sunrise eclipse. One thing about an annual eclipse, and this is the Universe Today post that we'll link to in this as well. An annular eclipse, you're going to have fi about 5% of the sun still visible. That is deceptively bright. You're going to need a pair of sun uh, equipped solar viewing glasses, solar filter, an approved solar filter. You're going to need that kind of stuff that you need for a partial eclipse viewing. You're going to need that throughout the eclipse. This isn't like a total solar eclipse where you can view it safely when it's in totality. During those entire annular phases, you get eye protection. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. So we ran some simulations of what this eclipse would look like if you're looking back down on the Earth to give you an idea of the path of the eclipse. And we also took a look to see what you're going to see from different satellites as far as Earth satellites in orbit around the Earth that look at the sun that may catch this eclipse. We ran some simulations, updated the satellite T TLEs this morning. We saw that high node we'll get a couple partial eclipses and also Proba B, ESA's Proba B satellite, the European Space Agency's Proba B satellite, that'll get a couple of eclipses as well. You'll see that in the simulations. If you see the moon kind of looping through the trail, uh, what that is is actually the artifact of the satellite orbiting the Earth. These satellites are in low Earth orbit. They're orbiting about once every 90 minutes. They're in, in, uh, in sun synchronous uh, solar observing orbits. So enjoy those. We also ran the simulation sped up about 3,000 times, so you don't have to sit and watch a, a, a couple hour long simulation. They run like in less than a minute of what the eclipse is going to look like rising from Western Australia and from Irish Rock 
and what it's going to look like from Hawaii as well, where it's going to be partial. So from places that are going to see annulars and partials. Enjoy!